Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got an upgrade for my cable labels. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, friends. So, the first thing I want to share is when you've got a project that you're going to use again and again, it is not a bad idea to choose duplicate so you don't wreck the original. So, this is my copy of cable label. And the original one said Mike. I'm going to make the second one say Mike as well. I'm going to start naming these so if I ever make another Mike, I know where to find it. Of course, I will output an STL so I could just reuse that as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring out a piece of text. We're going to set it to 8, but I'm going to warn you we will change this in a minute. We're going to set the bevel to 2, and I'm going to do the segments as 10. What this does is it takes our shape and gives it a nifty round texture. This is where we also do the magic of using our parts again. I'm going to click the original piece and do duplicate, which is control D. I'm going to bring this one over here and ungroup it, and I'm going to delete my name. I'm going to put this part in the other part, and I'm going to select them both, and I'm going to click align, and I want to align it this way. And then with it aligned, let's zoom in and adjust it so it fits. So first, the thickness, instead of 8, I'm going to make it 9, or you could choose 10 so that it shows up above our other part. Then I'm going to use the black handle and sink it so it goes right to the edge of the old shape. I'm going to puff it up just a little bit past. That way my eye is connected, but it is a pretty sweet design. And then here's the magical part. If we ungroup our original project, we can now take this entire project and cut it into a new design. That easily, instead of the words just sitting on top of a cube, you've got the words puffed out and a little bit more magical design. I've got another bonus for you. Watch this. We're going to do duplicate again. We're going to bring this part across. We are going to ungroup it and we're going to delete the piece underneath. Because of the larger size of our shape, we can now drop this and just put it in place just like that. So friends, when I exported them, I simply clicked on the one shape instead of having them together. If I always stay with this same 65 or 70 size, I'll be able to print this ahead of time and just use it with every part. When you hit export, of course, you choose STL and you're good to go. Alrighty, friends, so this is what it looks like. I printed it just like that. There was some stringing underneath. I printed this on a separate printer. You drop your cable in. And then they simply slide together. And you've got a handy dandy cable label. Friends, I just want to remind you, if you make something awesome and you want to take time to share it, you can use the invite people and generate a link that you copy and share with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Gmail and Facebook and friends. We have also added a brand new Twitter account, HL Tinkercad, where I will be focusing on just posting cool things from Tinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.